Hello everyone. Welcome to JG Chemistry. Guys, in today's video, we are going to learn electronic spectroscopy in that we will cover molecular orbital theory that is MOT and its electronic structure for diatomic molecule. In the next video, we will be learning about the term symbols, how we can derive for the diatomic molecule. Also, we will see how to calculate and derive the electronic structure for ground state and excited state and selection rule. This MOT and electronic structures and term symbols are very important not only for MSc chemistry students but also for CSIR net and gate students. So guys, if you want me to prepare a topic which you wish to see, you can write in the comment section. Also, if you like my video, please do subscribe and share it with your friend. So let's start. So first, as we know that we are going to cover the diatomic molecule, we'll start with a very simple molecule, diatomic molecule, hydrogen. In each hydrogen, you have one electron, so total two electrons will be there. And since we know the orbital, uh, one electron will be there in S orbital. So this belongs to the picture of the orbital picture of each hydrogen. One one electron will go to this. And there are two possibility. Either you can uh, sum, it, sum the orbitals or uh, wave function of these two, which is going to form a big molecular orbital. Plus plus will form molecular orbital. If you see the end view, it is a spherical. So it forms a sigma bond. Since it gives you the sigma bond formation. And it is going to form a positive big orbital. And center of symmetry is present. If you go from the center, to the left hand side and to the right hand side it meets the similar sign of uh, uh, orbital so we give it g g for j right and so the symbol comes for this is one as sigma g molecular orbital which is called bonding orbital we'll see in detail how to derive these symbols other possibility for the two orbitals is either you can do the difference if you do the difference for the wave function or orbital here the sign of the other orbital is going to change and it will show positive and negative and it will not form the bond formation. The end view is here also spherical so the symbol will be given sigma but since it is uh, from the center one side if you go it is positive and other side it is negative. So the center of symmetry is not present and therefore it is ungeret the symbol is given you for the excited state which is called anti bonding orbital. So one is sigma g for the bonding orbital and one as sigma u star for anti-bonding orbital. The two electrons of the hydrogen will occupy the ground state that is one as sigma g. And so the electronic structure or configuration will be one as sigma g2 for hydrogen. This is the orbital picture. We will see the energy level diagram also. Um, you can make a note that orbitals having the center of symmetry, if you are studying the group theory and if you have a knowledge that what is center of symmetry, then you can easily find that center of symmetry is with respect to the center. If you go uh, in equal and opposite direction, it, if it meets a similar atom or similar sign of the orbital, then it is given the girad, which is called even. And if it is absent, the center of symmetry is absent, then it is ungerad, which is odd. So you can make that in which condition we will make G and U. And there is a trick also. So you can use the trick also directly to derive G and U. So we will solve one problem here. This problem you can find especially it's a long question which you can see for MSc chemistry student that set up MO energy level diagram for nitrogen molecule and explain its salient features. So we will see nitrogen. There are for each nitrogen 7 electrons are there 1 s2, 2 s2, 2 p3. So total 14 electrons will be there which you have to occupy. So when you start with 1 s orbital the symbol is given 1 s sigma g because it forms a sigma bond. So sigma the ground state, the bonding orbital gives you G and the anti bonding is giving you here U for S orbital. So 1S sigma G, 1S sigma U. Similarly, for 2S orbital, bonding orbital is for S is G and for anti bonding it is U. And then comes here P orbital. 
So since it is 14 electron, there is a rule if you have less than 14 electron or 14 electron, then the pi orbital will come have the lower energy than the p sigma g energy. So pi orbital you have to draw first and then sigma orbital for p orbital. And then the excited state, the antibonding state remains the same. You have pi first and then sigma. So only change comes in the drawing between pi and sigma for the ground state only. So you know that uh, p orbital can occupy maximum 3. Uh, it has 3 columns here, right? So x, y, z. x and y are here. Since p, x and p, y gives you the end view, we will see how we have derived this u and g here. That we will see by drawing the orbital picture. Okay, so that is easy for you. Since basically this p orbital will give you pi, so which is uh, giving you a g right symmetry or so therefore it is given u. Since p z is following the sigma bond formation, which gives you the center of symmetry g. And for anti-bonding, whatever you have written for bonding is just opposite. Since for bonding it is u, it will be g. And for g, sigma g, it will be sigma u. So once again, I told you that how we can derive it, we will see by orbital picture. And also you can use the trick to draw it and to write the symbols. So one as we have already covered in hydrogen, we will start with 2s. You have 2s orbital having positive sign. So, two possibilities are there. Either you can do sum or subtraction. If you do sum, it is going to form a molecular orbital. Positive sign, center of symmetry is present. So, it is given G. Since it is forming sigma bond, so sigma G. If you do the difference, it is the same. The sign will change and it is going to be ungirad of because the center of symmetry is absent. So, U. Sigma U. Star is for anti-bonding. Now for 2PY which is same as 2PX also. So P orbital you can draw the 2P orbital lobe shape plus minus plus minus. Two combinations are possible. Either you can do sum or difference. So let's see if you do the sum here. Positive positive makes an orbital and negative negative makes an orbital here. Plus minus but from the center if you go in opposite direction it is the different signs, so it is u. And since the end view is pi orbital, so it is pi u. For bonding pi u. If you do the difference here, it is going to change the signs of this orbital minus plus. But from the center, you can see if it is going to the one direction, it is meeting a plus sign. And on the other direction, it is meeting plus. So plus plus or similarly on the other side. Minus minus, so center of symmetry is present and so it is given G. And view is pi log, so pi G. Pi U for bonding, you can see we have given pi U here for bonding and pi G is for anti-bonding. And Z, as you know, it forms a sigma bond. So you can see again two possibilities. If you do positive here in the center, it is going to form anti-bonding. While if you make a sub difference here, it is going to change and makes a or molecular orbital plus sign. From the center, it goes left, negative sign, right, negative. Meets the similar sign means center of symmetry is present. For the ground state, it is G. For excited state or anti-bonding, it is U. So you can notice here sigma G for ground state and sigma U for the anti-bonding state or excited state. You can see here from the center one side it is plus, other side is minus. So ungirad. So from this orbital picture you can make out the symbol the G and U and we know that pi orbitals are involved here. So pi since Z forms the sigma bond so we have given here P sigma G. Okay. So, this is the orbital picture and the energy label diagram. Now, total 14 electrons are there. So, we will see as per the rule that two electrons can occupy each orbital. Here, for S orbital, you can see two electrons for the ground state, then for anti bonding, 
then again 2 as sigma g2, 2 as sigma u, 2 electrons. So, total 8 are occupied here and then 2, 2, 4, 5 orbital, 4, 8 plus 4, 12 and then left is 2, then that will occupy the p sigma g. So, total the electronic configuration you can notice here 2p pi u2 equal to 2p pi u2 and finally the last valence shell electrons will go into sigma g2. So, this is the electronic configuration of nitrogen. So, if they ask you to draw the energy level diagram, this is the energy level diagram. You can balance it by labeling it. If they ask you to draw the electronic structure, you can write it and if they ask the salient feature and the orbital picture, you can draw the orbital picture as well. So, this is for nitrogen. Similarly, you can do it for oxygen. So, they are asking draw the molecular orbital diagram of oxygen. Give the ground state electronic structure for O2, O2 minus, O2 plus and O2 positive, 2 positive actually. So, we will see, you can rectify this, uh, the sign, the charge will come above. So, this remains the same, same you can notice here, 1 is sigma g, sigma u, sigma g, sigma u. Now, since a oxygen has total 16 electron, each oxygen is having 8 electron, 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. So, total 16 electron has to occupy, since it is more than 14 electron, the electronic configuration and the energy level diagram here, there is a slight change that now sigma g will have lower energy than the pi, okay, pi u. So, you just have to interchange these two if the electrons are more than 14. So, only difference is this and then you just have to occupy the 16 electron as per the Pauli's rule. Two, two electrons can occupy here for each. In that way, we will see the electronic configuration that uh, the last uh, electron will occupy, the valence electron will go 1, 1, 2, pi, g and pi, g. Okay, so both uh, 1, 1 electron will go to this. So, this is the electronic configuration of oxygen. If it is O2 minus, when one extra electron is present, then just one addition you have to do in the pi g, two electron will occupy here. If it is O2 plus, means one electron is less. So, as compared to oxygen, you just have to remove one electron and the valence electron will be there only for one pi g. O2, 2 plus. 2 plus means 2 electrons are released from here. So, the last 2 pi g electrons are not present here and your valence electron will be now pi u2 equal to pi u2. So, this is the electronic configuration for the oxygen molecule in the ground state as they are asking. You can do it. And later in the next video, we will derive the term symbols also for each. Since the valence electron is different here in each case, you will have the different term symbol also. We will see how to do that. And very important for MSc NetGate students. So, you can make a note that the trick which I told you, let's say you have orbital SPDF. So, for bonding orbital, the symmetry comes like G for S for G. And then it is alternative, you can see G, U, G, U, S, P, D, F, for P it is U, for D it is G and F it comes U. This is for bonding orbital and we have seen in case of nitrogen and oxygen. For S orbital for bonding it was G and for bonding orbital for P it is U. And then anti bonding is just vice versa, if it is G here it is U, U, G, G, U and U, G. So this is just alternatively. If you are getting for bonding G for S orbital, it is anti-bonding U. Similarly, for P, it is U for bonding, then G will be for anti-bonding. By using this table or trick, you can directly put the symbols. Another note is the same for electronic configuration. If you have any diatomic molecule which is having less than 14 electrons or equal to 14 electrons, the electronic configuration will follow this energy level. The difference is here with uh, mentioned with the red color. Here pi will have, pi u will have less energy. While if the 
electronic configuration here it is only greater not equal to sign okay only greater is there greater than 14 is there then the sigma g will have less energy than the pi u only difference is this so you can draw as per this and you can draw any energy level diagram for carbon 2 for b2 for any other diatomic molecule or heteronuclear diatomic molecule like no also we'll see in other video i hope you understood how to draw the mot and the concept of electronic structure happy learning